This evening, a handful of dental patients in Springfield may have been treated with improperly sanitized equipment. I'm David Oliver. And I'm Ashley Ketz. The scare happened at the Jordan Valley Health Center, Community Health Center, and that's where Cullerton's Kevin Schwaller is tonight, live with this exclusive information from members of the health center and a patient. That's right. We just got out of a meeting with some members of the health center here. Some of these patients are now being contacted and they're coming in here for testing. But this all originated across the street. This is the dental clinic over here. And this is where those equi that equipment was used. Now, Megan Rowe with the health center confirms this involves dental instruments, just kind of typical dental equipment here. She says they were clean and scrubbed. However, they did not go through the full sanitation process. Again, the exposure risk for these three people is minimal is what these dental professionals and the health professionals here rather believe. The center is working on contacting the three people and also trying to reach 17 people who the equipment may have been used on first. Now because it was used on them first, those people aren't in any danger. So far there's no indication that any of those individuals that uh, the equipment was used on first year had HIV or any serious transmittable disease. We are looking into this and again we just talked with several health professionals here. The health center says it's trying to be pro Active. One of the reasons it came out and talked to us. It's also using its system of tracking. It's something they said was very good in this situation to find out which patients may have had this equipment used on them and also which patients it was used on before. Uh, testing is a precaution will happen for hepatitis B, C, and HIV, and the testing isn't just today. The health center will be following up with patients just to make sure they are in the clear. It has reviewed files for all the patients that it believes are involved, involved the medical director, and also talked to the health department. That's according to the health officials here. We also talked to a woman who was pregnant and got this phone call. She says that even though there's minimal risk, it still causes some worry for her and the child she is carrying. She she came in today to get some of those tests done. We're getting more information about this, uh, obviously, as these tests are becoming done, as the health department is going out and talking uh, to its patients. Right now, though, minimal risk and just a few people involved. Reporting live in Springfield, Kevin Schwaller, Color 10 News.